friends, welcome back to KNT Kids News Tube, your place to watch kids news. I am Jill. We get latest from around the world. Lego releases braille bricks to teach blind and visually impaired kids. These bricks are designed to help children who are blind or visually impaired learn the braille system of reading and writing, where characters of the alphabet are represented by raised dots. Braille is a system that enables blind and visually impaired people to read and write through touch. It was devised by Louise Braille in 1821. After a pilot program last year, Lego is launching the bricks in seven countries, including the United States, France, Germany, Brazil, the UK, Denmark, and Norway. Kudos to Lego for such an initiative. We love it. How do you imagine floating in the air using balloons? Someone just did that. We have Atmega joining with the details. Thank you, Joe. Professional illusionist David Blaine just managed to do what so many can only dream of: flying up into the air using a bunch of balloons. The illusionist floated over the Arizona desert by holding onto about 50 helium balloons. A Reuters report said that Blaine ascended into the sky. For nearly twenty-five thousand feet before skydiving and parachuting back to Earth safely, the latest stunt, titled "Ascension," took nearly an hour, including the liftoff and the landing. This is Abdul Kajushi reporting for Kids News Tube from Damam, Saudi Arabia. Thanks, Abdul. Sounds exciting. Next. We have Carol with the latest on the fight against COVID-19. Over to you, Carol. Thanks, Joe. Finding a vaccine against COVID-19 that works can be distributed widely enough to help stop the pandemic is a global priority. Given the urgency, governments are doing all they can to find research and trials. Russia granted regulatory approval to a COVID-19 vaccine. In August, after less than two months of human testing, U.S. public health officials said on Thursday a vaccine could be ready for distribution as soon as late October. But the World Health Organization does not expect widespread vaccination against COVID-19 until the middle of next year, 2021. None of the candidate vaccines in advanced clinical trials so far have demonstrated a clear signal. Of efficiency, hope we will get a vaccine soon to end this pandemic. Reporting for Curl Kids News to Markham, Toronto. Thanks, Carol. While it is not all happy news, countries are definitely making progress. Alzheimer's disease. Is a progressive brain disorder that slowly destroys memory and thinking skills. In the advanced stage, it impacts the ability to carry out the simplest tasks. We have Jacob joining with details on how robots are helping people with Alzheimer's. Over to you, Jacob. Thank you, Joe. Did you know that September is World Alzheimer's Month? The latest news is that robots will be helping people who live in Manitoba who have memory problems. Manitoba, which is a province in Canada, is teaming up with Victoria Hospital to study the use of a robot that is designed to help the patient when the doctor or caregiver is not home. Do you know how robots work? Robots are based on technology called robotics. Which use STEM concepts to do tasks which are usually done by human beings. STEM stands for science, technology, engineering, and math. It is very interesting and hopeful to watch how robots can help the world in a creative way. This is Jacob Thompson reporting for Kids News Tube from Mississauga, Toronto. Thanks, Jacob.
20-year-old from India, is now the fastest human calculator in the world. Gita is joined from Bangalore, India with the details. Thank you, Joe. 20-year-old Matt Prodigy earns title of world's fastest human computer. A 20-year-old Matt Prodigy from Hyderabad in India has made it to the news by winning the first ever gold for India in the Mental Calculation World Championship at Mind Sports Olympiad recently held in London. Nilakanda Banu Pragash, who pursues mathematics, holds world records and 50 Limka records for being the fastest human calculator in the world. The Mind Sports Olympiad, first held in 1998, is a virtual competition that was held with 30 participants up to 57 years of age from 13 countries, including UK, Germany, UAE and France. This is Dia reporting for Kids News 2 from Bangalore, India. Thanks Dia, what an achievement. That's all we have for you today. Stay safe and have a lot of fun.